The campaign came out of the 2014 strategic plan created by the Board of Trustees. The goal of the campaign was to um, create campus enhancements for the first phase of the campus master plan, which was to enhance our campus for academics, arts, and athletics. We began work on the campaign um, in the early phases in the latter part of 2014 when we acquired the about 18 acres of contiguous property to the preschool. It's always great to see Walker looking ahead and planning for the future and continued growth and improvement. Um, but of course, for me, what remains the same and the true is the quality of the program and the heart of the people. And to me, that'll never change. Whatever buildings go up around us, I think that that's what makes Walker so special. Um, and it's an honor and a pleasure for me to be able to be a part of giving this school and this phenomenal place the structure to make that program and the people thrive and do so much more for the students. We already have a top science and technology program, but this facility really allows the, the facilities to match the program that we've had. It's going to allow uh, more lab space, it's going to allow for more hands-on learning and, and provide the room for the teachers to, to do that. Um, it's also going to provide more areas and spaces specifically dedicated to independent research for the students and uh, just going to allow us to continue to expand these programs from the, the great spots where they already are to, to even bigger heights. Uh, the collaborative spaces are going to be you know, uh, well used by both the classes and students outside of class. So it allows breakout spaces for if a class wants to break out into groups, have spaces for students to uh, work creatively and collaboratively. There's spaces in the hallways, there's whiteboards in the hall. And then uh, for students during um, you know, break times, during lunch times, as they're working with each other, having spaces for them to collaborate. And as we know, the workplace is, is even more collaborative than uh, the educational environment. And so having, allowing the teachers to prepare the students for that and having space that allows that um, is just going to enhance the program. The green screen and studio with the, the sound booth is going to allow us to broaden the multimedia offerings that we have and to take some of the classes like film and video, multimedia journalism where they do Walker News Network and um, I give them facilities to do really creative work. Additionally, other classes are going to be able to use that space to do creative video work um, and different, you know, learn about those multimedia technologies and integrate them wider into the curriculum, not just for those classes dedicated to the to those uh, to that study. Chapman Coyle Chapman and Architects and Mike Mischeri was our lead architect. Hodges and Hicks General Contractors partnered with the Walker School on both the science and tech and the renovations to the main building. First of all, the kids love the space, uh, the the openness, the. The, the fact that they can really move around without fe feeling, you know, that they're stepping into each other. They could go and work on the robots and the robotics um, court if that's what they are working on. Um, our technology with the new active panels has been amazing. Uh, our kids have been able to show their work and uh, we have casted their projects into the screen and do a compare and do presentations. Uh, earlier on this summer when they were developing apps, they were able to really showcase what they can do. Uh, our technology rooms have specific courts for robotics, which, uh, and it's just a dedicated area for it. It allows us to uh, really improve the program that we have been offering. We restarted our middle school robotics program and we expanded it to the lower school. Uh, in the last two years, uh, we have grown almost exponentially. We started with one or two teams. Now we are about to have four teams this year uh, with grades fourth through eighth grade. With us now having this much larger space and flexible furnishing, it will allow us to do a lot more um, interdisciplinary projects and work with other teachers. Uh, we will be working with some teachers in the lower school to bring them and incorporate some of the technology into their classroom. Um, having the room to host almost 30 kids in, in a club is it, huge. It's going to really definitely allow us to do some uh, really neat stuff. As science chair, I am so excited about the outside the classroom space that we have. Learning doesn't stop at that door. 
and having that space allows us from middle school all the way up to our 12th graders to give students a chance to work in small collaborative groups and really wrestle with some of the complicated problems that are facing our world at a developmentally appropriate level. I am also very excited about the design of the classrooms themselves. All of our classrooms, 6 through 12, are lab classrooms. So we have a discussion area in one part of the room and a wet lab in the other half of the room, which allows us to seamlessly transition spontaneously. When students have a question or an idea that they want to test, we can get up from where we've been talking and just pull right in and get our hands on equipment and materials and explore the why and how of what they want to know. I think the, the structure of this facility will really allow us to take our science program into the middle of the 21st century and beyond. Uh, we know that technology is integrated into every field in science and that we're seeing that at earlier and earlier ages and our kids are going to be able to do that seamlessly from the first moment that they walk into the door. Having technology in this space allows us to incorporate technology into our classrooms in a way that's meaningful and consistent rather than just kind of a special every once in a while activity. Um, I also think that having a space like our rooftop garden allows students at multiple different levels to interact with each other, whether we're bringing over lower school kids for a visit to help understand pollination or whether our environmental science class is planting uh, crops that then our genetics class can do genetic analysis on. Um, it really is just going to help push our program that much more forward. As department chair, one of my major focuses is allowing our students to see what a career in science might look like and having those student research suites for both our public health concentration and our engineering concentration give the students in those programs an opportunity to do research in a very authentic way. It's not that they're doing research for 50 minutes and then they need to pack it up and move on to the next thing. That space is theirs. That lab bench is theirs. Their work can stay out, their equipment can stay out, and they can come in during break or during lunch or during a free period, and they can do their work just like a scientist would. And they're in that lab with their partners. They can collaborate. Um, those massive whiteboard walls, which I am very excited about, allow them to make their thinking visible. And uh, I think that's a really meaningful part of that experience. And it will really allow them to take ownership of the entire research experience. And from my perspective, students who have graduated from the, our programs and gone on to college, uh, many of them have reported back how easy it has been for them to get a lab position because they know how to do a literature review. They know how to optimize a protocol. When things aren't working in your experiment, how do you get back up and figure it out? And those spaces are really going to allow them to have that experience in a deep and meaningful way. We're in the Wolverine Warehouse, we will be the Wolverine Warehouse, and we're really excited about the updates and the change to the space. When you walk in, you're going to notice automatically that we really are trying to highlight the warehouse portion of that theme. Immediately how attractive the space is and how welcoming it will be, not only for students, but also for their parents. We thought it was important that it be located near the heart of the campus, and as we expand uh, north, um, we moved it to the Bowden Plaza. It will be easy access for football games and for other activities here on campus and it's going to be probably triple the space of the current warehouse so that we can have more items and they can be, dis be displayed in a way that makes it easier for you to shop here on campus. So indirectly the the new building has helped us a lot because um, you know those, those teachers are able to, to relocate in a different place it's allowed us to expand our art department and the music department the band the orchestra which was space that was badly needed so we actually were able to take what was two studios, the middle school and the upper school are, now we've expanded it into three studios. And so now we've got a studio just for um, the 2D work, which is they'll do all the drawings, the paintings and things in there. And then we've got uh, two studios down on the third hallway that are going to be designated for 3D. And those rooms, all, all three of those rooms have a whole lot of natural light because one entire wall is in completely glass window so it's so that's really exciting um, and then what we did with the music rooms with the music suite here we have the um, orchestra room and the band room and so literally this band room is twice as big as it was uh, with usable space and same with the orchestra room and both have adjoining equipment and instrument storage rooms to those 
And so we're real excited about the program because we were busting at the seams and now we've got a bigger space to fill. The band program and the orchestra program, we were somewhat married to the size of the room with the number of kids, but now with the, with the expanded sizes, well, we can grow the programs even further than they are now. So the new dance studio will have an introduction to dance class, which is sort of our basic dance uh, level class that we have, and then we'll also have yoga in there as well. And then we'll also have musical theater classes, we'll use that space a little bit, as well as all of the acting classes, we'll use the space. So I think the renovations are going to benefit us in a myriad of different ways. When you're talking about the auditorium space, um, that space has actually got a brand new carpet, and it has a brand new lighting system and it has a new sound system. So all of those things have taken this really old gym and made it into a theater. And the great thing about that is when the Wolverine Warehouse moves, we'll get some of that storage space to store sets and props and costumes, which we're bursting at the seams in our uh, tiny closets in the back, which is gonna be really nice for uh, Mr. Schreiner and uh, the Sagecraft class to have that storage as well. And then with the dance studio, not only are we gonna have uh, you know, a safer environment for our dancers and with mirrors, um, you know, to really allow their creativity to blossom. We also have that ability to, um, you know, when we share that auditorium space for our band concerts, our chorus concerts, and our orchestra concerts, we now have somewhere to go to continue all of our work in our theater after school. So we'll be able to have rehearsals in there after school. The middle school will also be able to have their musical rehearsals in there after school. So it's going to be a really nice addition to the, the whole theater program as a whole. You know, I've always thought that there was so much talent going on in this building and there's so much incredible creativity and really huge intellectual talent that finally the building is going to match what's going on. And I think that's really important.